Hi loves, thanks for being here. Today I'm gonna show you never before seen footage from the behind the scenes of the filming of Asian Persuasion in New York. Pinagyabang ko talaga na nasampal ako ni Ate Juday sa teleserye namin. Huwag ka lang mawawala. Tinuturoan ko sila how to speak Tagalog. May kakaloka ka, Dante. What does that mean? Oh, that's so bongga! My journey started in March 2022. Day one! And this was the time na nakatira pa ako sa Los Angeles. Vlinag ko siya. Kasi lumipat ako for school. Um, Mag-aaral ako ng gemology um, or jewelry being a jewelry professional. Uh, gusto kong mas ma-enhance yung knowledge ko. Diba? Mas matuto pa ako and maging legit yung education ko sa jewelry. Kaya ako lumipat ng Los Angeles. And for some reason, talagang tinawag ako ng tadhana. It's happening, day one! Don't make me call your parole officer. Dennis, your mom works for Google. After kung uh, dumaan sa proseso na kinasta ko ng isang producer, tago natin sa pangalan na Mr. Jet Tolentino na taga New York City, um, talagang nagkaroon ako ng chance na magbalik artista. Done with the first scene of the day. Done, done, done. Getting out this car. Woo! From Los Angeles, hinalt ko yung studies ko and I flew to New York. I love New York because I love walking and kahit wala kang kotse, marami kang magagawa sa city na to. Manhattan is one of my favorite places in the world. I really, really enjoy the energy. It was really a fun time to be able to go to New York for work, which was really such a surprise because it's such a dream to be able to say that you know you're flying to New York City for work <sighs> and for a movie that I did not expect to come my way. I can't believe I'm done for the day. So I did one excited, excited scene and that was it. So I get to sign. Isa sa mga pinaka pinaka milestone na experiences sa buhay ko is um, working on a SAG set. Uh, Avery will try safe. Okay. Union siya ng mga artista kung saan pinoprotect nila ang mga karapatan or yung kapakanan ng mga actors. To be able to work on a set na union film, na SAG film, excited ako kasi finally, isa sa mga pangarap ko simula nung nag-artista ako, matutupad, which is to be a member of SAG Astra. Breakfast of the day. Isa sa mga super favorite ko talaga sa set ng SAG is yung meals. Like yung eating time. Hindi na lang mahilig ang foodie ako. Hindi lang yun. Uh, talagang kinuwento ko na to sa ibang interview ko pero hindi ko pa nakikwento sa vlog ko. For example, isa sa mga sobrang na-amaze ako about this set nung experience ko with this movie, talagang ang timer starts kapag the last crew member gets his food or her food. Hindi magsa-start ang timer ng break time, ng dinner time or lunch break hanggat hindi nakakakuha ng pagkain yung pinaka-last na crew member. So, ang ganda, di ba? And then, usually, mga 30 minutes yung dinner break namin. Hindi siya nag-extend ng 2 hours, ganun. Kasi, work, work, work mode yung mga tao. Pagkain ng lahat, same. Every shooting day, iba yung cuisine. And they made sure na Asian yung cuisine namin. Kasi yun din yung gusto namin um, i-showcase dito sa movie na parang Asian American or Asian yung parang biba dito. I'm a few and stretch for the slapping. Diba, pag sinabi mo, may stuntman sa set, iniisip mo yung stuntman is pang ano, yung mga superhero na mga cartwheel, cartwheel na mga kung ano, mga exhibition, ganyan. Hindi, hindi siya para lang dun pala. Parang, ito, kahit sampal sin lang siya na wala pang one second mapapanood sa movie, mag-hire talaga sila ng tuturo sa'yo na stuntman ang ano, 
tuturuan kanya kung paanong sumampal ng walang dadapong kamay sa pisngi nung scene partner mo. It was it was a fun day. I got to work with our stuntman that's worked on all the Marvel films today. He taught me how to do the um, slap properly. So I got to do my, I got to exercise my slapping skills on Dante today. And today I learned that the camera, the camera can see height and width, but never depth. So the slap, I think it's real, huh? Movie magic. Talagang sinisiryoso pala nila yun sa Amerika, guys. Nakakatakot. Pero ang sarap ng feeling, di ba, na protected tayo. Eh, kaya lang dito sa Pilipinas, talagang ano, pinagyabang ko talaga na nasampal ako ni Ate Joday sa teleseryo namin. Huwag ka lang mawawala. Ano? Ulitin mo nga? Ang cute ng baby eh. But I think I'd be a better mom than you. Pinagmalaki ko niya. Feeling ko, tunay na artista na ako kasi nasampal na ako ni Judy Anson. <laughs> Yung feeling mo, kailangan may mark nung kamay niya para masabi mo talagang artista ka na, ganon. Talagang I'd like to thank uh, yung sampal ni Ate Juday for this award. <laughs> Am I wrap for the day? You're wrap for the day. Enjoy it. More quotes later. Thanks, Jeff! Bye! May isang araw ako, wala akong shooting, pero pinag-fitting nila ako ng damit. Parang wala pa yatang two hours yon siguro at most Three hours, pero wala pa yata ng three hours. Tapos after ko mag-fitting, pinapirma nila ako ng time in, time out. Sabi ko, grabe, fitting. Fitting lang ni time in, time out ako. Yun pala, guys. Pati yung fitting ni Bayad. <laughs> Trabaho pa rin naman kasi talaga yun. Tunuan ko si Scarlett mag-tagalog. Mag Tama na po. <laughs> Ayaw na niya mag-shoot. Ano, yung cast is, hindi siya marunong mag-tagalog. <laughs> So, yung mga jokes, hindi ko ma-joke yung mga joke na Tagalog jokes. Kasi mas nakakatawa pag Tagalog, di ba? May mga jokes na mas funny pag sa Tagalog kinikwento. So, sure. Kamusta, Dante? Ah, uh, mabuti. Oh, mabuti, mabuti. <laughs> Tinuturoan ko sila how to speak Tagalog. May mga times na yung mga Becky lingo natin. Nakakaloka ka, Dante. Gano. What does that mean? Gano. Oh, that's so bongga. I like that scene. Bongga yung scene. What does bongga mean? Hey guys, nasa car scene kami now and ayaw na ni Scarlett mag-shoot. No, say, mahal ko kayo. Say, mahal ko kayo. That means I love you. I love you guys. Mahal? My hand. Iba-iba rin yung natutunan ko na, oh nga no, parang depende rin siguro sa role or sa disiplina mo kung what works for you, parang athlete lang yan eh. Kung minsan yung stretch na bagay dun sa athlete na yun, yung warm-up na bagay dun sa athlete na yun, mas iba yung nagwo-work dun sa ibang athlete na yun. So, pero same game. Umaarte kaming lahat, pero iba-iba yung style namin sa pag-prepare sa mga eksena namin. Ang saya rin tingnan. Ang pinakamalaking adjustment ko is umaarte in English again. Kasi lahat ng experience ko sa movie and sa um, teleserye is Tagalog. So kahit Inglesera ako in real life, hindi ako umaarte in English except nung nagsa-start ako nung 16 years old ako, 19 years old ako. Pero theater yun. So interesting din na kapag English pala, iba rin yung acting. You guys! I took my heels off and my foot is full of slush. You guys, my hair is ruined. <laughs> Happy birthday to me! 37th birthday ko sa set ko, sinelebrate. Ang saya lang, parang work. Working day. And feel na feel ko na may purpose ako in life. Kasi I'm working on my birthday, ganun. But I was really happy na I got to celebrate with the crew. Kasi malapit din ako sa crew. Um, sometimes more than mga kapwa ko artista. Um, mas nagiging close ko pa yung mga behind the scenes. Parang I feel comfortable with them. So, nag-party ako with the crew. And then, cute naman nila. Binigyan nila ako ng cake. And then, ganun. Parang very simple. Ano lang. Na-happy na ako nasa New York ako. Happy na ako na nasa set ako. Na may pelikula akong ginagawa. Nang hindi nakakala. Hindi na-expect. Good night, guys! Love you all! Thanks for today! Yung hotel ko, kung saan ako tumira dyan, isa sa mga favorite street ko sa Manhattan. Bakit? Kasi kilala siya for 
Korean barbecue <laughs> and K-beauty shops and Korean cafes. So, yung 32nd Street, in case makarating kayo ng New York, puntahan ninyo kasi ano siya, favorite, one of my favorite streets just because it's Kate, Korea Town. Hey, B! Thanks for helping me every day. No worries. Oh my god, I'm like, she's my guardian angel. <laughs> Most unforgettable experience, I think, is really doing this on my own. Wala akong entourage. I didn't have my normal glam team. I didn't have yung nakasanayan kung team na, no? Talagang everyone was new to me sa mundo ko. Everything was new. Pero nakakatuwa kasi, once na artista ka pala, kahit anong set yan, once na mag-roll na yung camera, naka-on yung mga ilaw, feels like home. Guys, syempre mali yung napuntahan ko, di ba? So, umikot-ikot pa ako. I think the biggest challenge was tumira sa ibang place na mag-isa ka lang. Tapos, aaralin mo yung sistema nung sa Amerika. Pero, it's here and ay, tumaya ako. And okay naman. Maganda naman yung naging experience ko. Guys, we're doing Asian <laughs> Persuasion! This is my mom, Tita Faye, in the film. And this is our producer-director, Jet Hi. Tolentino. Watch out for this film! It's an Asian American film. It's gonna be amazing. It's funny. How about a rom com? A an Asian rom com, everybody. I think wow. we're ready for that. We are ready for that. Woo! All right. All right. It's a wrap for the bad bad boy. Bye. Bye. May pusong pinoy siya, so alam niyo tayo very ano, emotional tayo. So kahit comedy siya, may kurut pa rin ng drama na very. Uh, relatable, especially to women, na dumaan sa isang hiwalayan. So, ito ay tungkol sa isang ex-husband ko um, na tinatakasan ang mga babayaran niya dahil <laughs> dinivorce niya ako. Wala siyang abogado, wala siyang pera para sa isang abogado, pero dinivorce niya ako. Kaya, pinaglalaban ko yung alimony ng anak namin. May anak kami dito maliit, si Scarlett. As Avery, parang women empowerment siya. For me, it was nice to do the role kasi makikita mo yung fierceness as a mom. Yet, mahal na mahal ko pa rin makikita ninyo yung ex-husband ko. So you can just treat people that way, put up a restaurant, name it after me, and think all your problems are gonna go away? It doesn't work like that, Meg. I'm not, I'm not your punchline. Pero comedy siya na... Very American yung humor, pero kurot and pusong Pinoy. Don't you a dashing. Thanks. Back at you, kid. Back at you, kid. <laughs> Magsushowing na kami dito. <laughs> Sana manood kayo kasi PG siya. Rated PG by MTRCD. Yon. so kung gusto nyo lang mag-relax, gusto nyo lang ng fresh na movie na rom-com na may konting drama, you can come and watch our film na shinuting namin sa New York City. First American movie ko to. So, I hope you guys like it. And, uh, panorin nyo naman yung pinaghirapan namin. Ipapakita ko na lang sa inyo dito or sa caption yung um, kung saan kami magsushowing. Hope you guys enjoyed the behind the scenes. Ayun lang, konting sharing lang, konting chika chika. Shinimi ko sa inyo yung aking beautiful experience shooting Asian Persuasion. And I want to thank Jet Tolentino for taking care of us for this production. And of course, all our producers, thank you so much for your trust in me. And to all my co actors, I admire you so much. Thank you for being an inspiration to me. And New York City, I heart you so very, 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 very much. Alright guys, I'll see you in my next vlog and I hope to catch you in the theater.